Hello, hello, and welcome to Gimme Gaming. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. This video is going to be so much different than all my other videos, as I'm just going to basically just I want to talk to you guys about season 10 and how I feel about it and some of the changes that are coming. Um, this season, more so than others, is kind of split how people feel about it like it's it's really uh some people are really excited some people are like man um i'm just gonna talk about one of the things or a couple of the things that i'm excited about and hopefully op open up a dialogue in the comments section and you know i want to hear from you guys what are you guys excited about what are you least excited about um are you even excited about it do you even care <laughs> Um, this video will be completely, there's no script whatsoever, so this will be straight freestyle. I'm going to hopefully limit my ums and likes and things like that to keep this video rolling. But I'm going to get right into it. So one of the things that I want to talk about, and these aren't official patch notes, these are just something from someone that played the game early, and this is what they noticed. So we'll probably get official patch notes. These could be completely different, but usually when this happens, they're pretty, they're pretty accurate. So, one of the things that I want to talk about is the care package switch up. I am so, so excited that they are bringing the Prowler back to the ground. Um, in the earlier seasons, that was one of my favorite weapons, even before I even started, uh, before I started doing YouTube. I loved the Prowler. Like, I love burst weapons in general, but the Prowler was just chef kiss. And they're bringing it back. Now, unfortunately, they are putting the alternator in there, which I'm like... You know, I just started getting, I just started using that again. Um, the Spitfire is going in there, which of course that was definitely, I mean, you could have seen that coming from a mile away, which hopefully will negate a lot of the uh, Spitfire spam. Well, I guess it will for sure. Um, but one of the cool things about it is they are putting disruptor rounds on the alternator. And for those of you that don't, that don't know, the disruptor, disruptor rounds was in like season two, season three, I think, or something like that. And they did extra shield damage. Now, you could put it on the alternator and I think the RE45, but while it was on the alternator, it was, the alternator was probably the scariest gun at that time because it completely melts your shields. Like, I mean, it destroys your shields and it does, it does quite a good amount of damage. So I'm really curious to see how that's gonna act in the care package. Um, I can't wait to hear that familiar sound and feel that feeling in my stomach that we did in season three or whatever season it came out. I'm pretty sure it was season three. Um, but yeah, they're also, uh, they're nerfing the EVA 8 a little bit. I don't think it's gonna be that much of a nerf, but um, the fire rate with shotgun bolts are gonna be reduced, um, which you kind of saw that coming. Like the EVA 8 was kind of becoming a problem. It's a very powerful gun. You don't have to ADS it. Um, it fires pretty fast, but in my opinion, those that use the EV8 kind of, you know, they don't just hold the trigger down, like they kind of like time their shots, but that's, you know, whatever. Um, so they're kind of nerfing that. So I want to know how you guys feel about that. A lot of people have been using the EV8 and I think they're going to still be using the EV8 at, even after this, to be honest. Now the L-Star, this, these are some weird changes. Now the L-Star is now able to take barrel stabilizers and extended mags which will, the extended mags will increase the time it overheats and reduce the cooldown, which is, I guess, a cool concept. It's a, it's kind of funny to imagine a barrel stabilizer on the L-Star, but let me know how you guys feel about that. I don't typically use the L-Star because I just, I can't get that overheat pattern down and it, I just end up overheating it and missing a lot of my shots, but it is a very powerful weapon. Now, one of the things that I want to talk about that I'm kind of like, eh, about is the marksman rifles now taking sniper stocks. I mean, I kind of see that because the G7 was a sniper back back in the day. So I don't know how to truly feel about that, but I really want to know how you guys feel about uh, them taking sniper stocks. I don't really see a bunch of sniper stocks, so stocks, so that's going to be, um, it's going to be, that's going to be, uh, that's going to be fun. That should be fun. Um, let's see, they're removing the anvil receivers, which is crazy because they removed them, then they brought them back, and now they're removing them again. Uh, I don't know. I, I used to like them, but when they were gone, you know, I didn't really miss them too much, so I don't know how to feel about it. I only really ever used it on the 301. Using it on the flat line was just too difficult for me. So let me know how you guys feel about that. They're also removing the quick draw, which is another 
pop up that I don't really use a bunch. Um, but they're adding a new hop up, which is called Boosted Loader, which will basically give you faster reload and bonus ammo if reloaded in time. So kind of like a dead eye tempo thing. I think it's going on the Hemlock and the Wingman, which could be huge because um, you know you know how they feel about the Hemlock and the Wingman has always been you know the Wingman. So it's, it's going to be fun. That's, that should be interesting. And another thing I want to talk about is the map changes. This will probably be the last thing I talk about. But the map changes for me are amazing. Like my one problem with World's Edge is that so many people landed at Capital or Fragments that the match, like the matches there, were so quick, or half, almost all the lobby would be gone, and then you would just spend the rest of the time running around in circles trying to find, you know, the last three squads or whatever. With these changes, there are so many interesting uh, POIs and just, they look beautiful that I'm really hoping that this season it spreads everything out. I think they did a fantastic job with the changes to the map. I'm so excited for it. If you guys haven't, please, please, please check it out on their website. You'll see all the differences. They have like little slides and stuff. It's so cool. I'm so excited, so excited for that. But yeah, I know this video has kind of been all over the place. And if you're still watching it right now, I appreciate you guys so much. I'm trying to keep it really short. So I'm probably going to end it here. But um, I didn't talk about the, the legend because I feel like all the other YouTubers have talked about it. So I just want to talk about things that I was kind of like I found interesting. And like I said, one of the biggest things that I'm interested in is the map changes. I can't wait to play on World's Edge and experience all these different places and the lighting. Oh. I can, okay, I'm, I'm going to cut it here so I can go on and on about the, the changes of the map. But if you guys are excited, let's talk about it in the comments or do something. I don't know what I'm saying. This has been Gimme Gaming, and this is completely off script. I have no idea what words I am using at this point. <laughs> uh, I'm rambling at this point, but um, I hope to see you guys. I will be posting as much as I can before Season 10. So... You'll probably see another video tomorrow, and I might even stream or go live for a ranked, because I haven't done a ranked game this whole season, so we'll see how far we get there. I might do it like, two, you know, two days before the split or something, but like I said, this has been Gimme Gaming. If you guys enjoy it, please like and subscribe for more gaming content, and I will catch you guys and see you guys in the next one.